and doing my fourth fire, my willow split wood fire. And I'm going to use, hopefully, pearly everlasting, they call it. It's these little flowers that dry up in the winter. Never tried them before. Looks like they want to catch. I ground some up and pounded them up, too. Made some fun curls with the willow. So, pearly everlasting. Very cool. I tried uh, earlier here some uh, cattail and it just puffed up too much. I tried putting curls around it, but it didn't last uh, long enough even with that. But this pearly everlasting is fine. I got three graduations. You can see that I split it up nicely. Been using uh, Jose Diaz's knife. What I like to do, I found on the bushcraft forum, is to uh, stab this stuff. If I can give an example here. And then you this and it runs it down. Get your pencil size, and uh, that's worked really good. Let's hurry up and feed the fire a little bit more. So this is willow, and I got it up uh, by a canal that uh, it was kind of wet, and so hopefully it's dried out enough to get going here. Sorry, my nose running. It's cold out here. But uh, this thing uh, it splits kind of different. It splits kind of at a weird angle, and so it's been hard to get nice long pieces that you can uh, put on there. But here's a good example. When you take and you stab it, and you run your knife along. I saw I.A. Woodsman do this on the forum. You stick your knife in the log and then pull it along. And it's a pretty cool way to get some nice thin pieces, turn it around, pull it the other way. Better shut up and feed my fire if I want to get it knee high here. Look like it's a little wet. It's most of my fire would uh, be yeah, quite a bit higher by now. But it's going to go. Something I've been using is this little hammer. I pound some of this stuff down so it's in granular form and it's nice and flat. I did uh, my pine needles the same way. Got some nice curls this time from the uh, willow. Really enjoyed doing the curls for some reason more this time. You get it so it really gets some nice ones there. But uh, this a hammer of some sort, pin it down on cement or a hard flatten out the fiber in the, in the down that you got and uh, works pretty darn well. 
I'm going to move the camera up and just show you how much prep I got on the table back there. Crazy amount. I could have a campfire forever here. Kind of overdid it this time, but I had a whole bunch of willow that I brought back with me. Yeah, it's kind of nice and warm. But, uh, it's definitely knee high. I tried using some uh, cattail down and uh, it just did not work. Like uh, the fly stuff, I put a bunch of curls around it and I thought for sure, even though it flies, the curls would uh, catch on to it like this uh, Pearly Everlasting did. And uh, I didn't even know we had any of this stuff around, but I found some up uh, close to the Chutes River here. And uh, cool stuff. So a little fire with pearly everlasting as the tinder.